Hi guys, it's Shami from Caps, Names, and Things. So I just want to show you a haul that I got of some great stuff. So um, I went to a yard sale and I got some ledger paper. Um, I actually got two packs of this. It was only 25 cents. So there's like hundreds of sheets. I have no idea how I'm going to use all this. Um, I was thinking, because I'll show you. Um, actually, I should show you that now. And I went to a thrift store and I found this which is time card sheets, right? And they were just $1.50. But what I was thinking is that maybe in my Epsi store, I can make little sets of ephemera with the ledger paper and the time cards. Um, that'd be cool, because there's like a lot of these, like 250 cards, and then there's tons of ledger paper. But I got those for super cheap. These were 25 cents, and I got two packages of those. And then I got these for $1.50 the time cards. It's very cool. And then I found this at the dollar store. It's a chark marker and they come in a whole bunch of different colors. I haven't tried it though. Let's see if we can find something to try it with. See how well it works. Yeah, and it is really chalky and it does show up white. So that's kind of cool. So you can check your Dollar Tree for those, which is kind of cool. And they have like black and pink and blue and all sorts of things. So that's kind of cool. And that was a book. And then more from the thrift store. So I went to the thrift store and um, I got a couple clipboards because we're going to alter those in a future video. And then I got these letters. And these are actually Deco Arts letters. And it spells eat. Right? So you could, but I'm going to alter these. Um, I don't think I need anything that spells eat. Um, but I was thinking about maybe getting an R and doing art or something like that. And you could hang these um, somewhere in your studio or something like that. Um, they're not very expensive even normally. Um, so yeah, but they were only, I got all of these for $1.50 because they were 99 cents and then I got 50% off. Just kind of cool. That was pretty awesome. And then I found these stamps and they say happy birthday, celebrate you, wishing you a big thing. And they have cupcakes and all sorts of cool like little things on them. So that's kind of cool. And then I got this too. And it just says happy birthday wishes and congratulations, love, happy, all those kind of stuff. How cool is that? So these are new. They've never been opened which is awesome. And then I got these little plastic canvas circles, which are very cool. And then I got these triangle flashcards, which I'm going to alter. That was cool. And they come in a whole package. So those are awesome. That'll be a new project. And then I found this thing. Huh? And it's actually, it looks like it was for a frame, like a photo. It was for your different photos. And you can just set them in there and then you just turn it around. Kind of like the calendar ones. And I have an idea for this. So that's going to be fun to use this and it'll be altered. And it'll be really cool on what it's used for. So, and that was a couple bucks. And then I went to another thrift store, and I got this, which I'm super excited about. It's a paper making kit. Um, it does have the screens. Um, it doesn't have the confetti or anything like that, but that's all right. But um, I've always wanted to make homemade paper, but I've never been able to afford the screens. So this way I have the screens and I can make my own homemade paper. Right. So how cool is that? I don't know if you need anything else. Um, they have this little knife thing in there. So we'll see, but I'm super excited to see. And this was only a dollar at the thrift store. It's always so awesome to go to the thrift store. You totally never know what you're going to find. Which is great. 
And then I went to another thrift store and I got these this pad, these pads, and they were only $1.50. They were 50% off. And a lot of, I think two of them are artist pads and the rest are just regular ones, but you know, it's really good quality drawing paper, very thick. So that'll be great to make journals with. And then these are just spirals um, and they're leisure paper too. So I have tons of leisure paper. Um, so I definitely need to sell some or something, but these pads, so it comes, I have two of those pads. And then this is just a regular spiral, which is kind of cool. So I can use that for something. Very cool. So I thought that was a good deal for $1.50. No problem. And then I got this little thing, um, which folds out like this. And then it has little pockets so you can put stuff in. So I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I'll find some use for it. But these were four for a dollar. Store. And then I went to Michael's and I used a 50% off coupon and I got this baby, which is one of those stands that you put your jewelry on. Very pretty. It's the big size though. Sorry I'm blinding you there, but really cool. So I'm so excited to have this. And that was only like $12 and there was like $20 at my Michael's, so I figured that's a good deal. And then all, I was looking in their clearance section and I found some more of the trellis yarn. Isn't that pretty? It's not as a big quantity as if you get it at Walmart, but it was a dollar. So I figure I can just make a couple of necklaces from each one of these. Isn't that pretty? And then I found this one and this one I'll probably use for my journaling. And it was a dollar. Pretty cool. And then, you know, back to school's here, which I love to go back to school shopping for myself, for all my crafty supplies. So I got some watercolor markers. And then I got some composition books and some notebooks. And I got a new pair of scissors, which I don't have, but they're just the little red ones. Um, someone opened them and borrowed them already. <laughs> And then I got some school glue, which was like 25 cents. So I got like four bottles of that. And I got some glue sticks, 25 cents a piece. So I got four of those. I don't use glue sticks as much as I used to. Yep. And that was basically it. I did get some white seed beads too. While I was at Walmart. And is that it? I think that's all that I have to show you guys for now. So, um, I'm definitely going to get those kits together because I have a lot of that leisure paper and the time cards and a few other things. So I want to start making like ephemera little kits because, you know, I'll never be able to use that much leisure paper. Even if I was to keep it for 20 years, I just would never use that amount. So I definitely want to share and it'll be like low cost. Like I'm thinking like five sheets of each of the time cards and of the ledger paper for like two fifty and then whatever shipping costs or something like that. But shipping should only be like if I fold everything, you know, in half, I'm thinking I can get it into just a standard letter vanilla envelope, but one of the small ones. Um yeah and that should only make it maybe about a dollar something, you know, because it won't be that thick. So that's what I'm thinking. So like five or six bucks, you can get, you know, some leisure paper and um, some time cards. Or maybe I'll just sell the leisure paper. I don't know, but I'll figure it out. But I'm just so excited to have it. It was just such a great buy. I couldn't pass it up. So um, if, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching my haul. If you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up for this video if you enjoy it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a great day.